Hey guys, welcome back to the Watch With Us channel. I am here with a very special guest, uh, my new friend, Brett Williams, uh, who is the founder and designer of Albany Watch Company. How are you, bud? I'm good, I'm good, good. Very good, thanks for having me on. Oh, it's my pleasure. I'll, I'll let everybody know we, we attempted to do this yesterday, but I had technical difficulties within my uh, internet area here. So we're picking up where we left off sort of. Yeah, pearls of wisdom and it just went, it went dead. Yeah, so, <laughs> so you've got a lot going on, buddy, right? Yeah, a lot. Uh, we're starting our Kickstarter campaign on Tuesday, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we are grinding hard to, to get it going. Um, so we're ready. Uh, we've, we've got some great content on Instagram as well. So you can follow us on Albany Watch Co. on Instagram. Right. And um, Albany Watches is our, albanywatches.com is our, um, our website. That'll just take you straight to the Kickstarter when it starts. That's awesome. I, you know, I've been following your designs for, I feel like it's at least a year, if not longer now. Yeah, it, it, I've, I've been through, um, I've been through two manufacturers because, um, the quality wasn't right. I wasn't happy with quality and I didn't want to produce something and, and sell it to, you know, to, to backers that I wouldn't feel comfortable with. So, you know, for me, quality is everything. So, you know, that, that brings up a really good point. I, I'm in a lot of these, I shouldn't say I'm in a lot of these watch forums. I, you know, I browse the watch forums. I'm in a handful of watch groups and I always see the guys who post, oh, well, you know, I could do it better or, or they're pricing oh. it too high or they're pricing it too low or the bezel. Tell me yeah. how, tell, let's tell everybody how easy it is not to start it, design and have your own watch brand made. It's like, um, it's so difficult. <laughs> you know, I didn't realize how difficult it was. And then when, when you do get a review or something like that, and somebody comments like, um, what, no date, what a ripoff, it's too expensive. And, and then somebody else comments and says, uh, it doesn't cost more for a date. People have like really strange ideas about, uh, you know, what costs what. And, and it, it, there are a lot of hidden costs that, that factor into it. There is um, like what we've done. If you've, if you've had your own case made and you forged the hands yourself, well, not me, but if you've <laughs> designed the hands and you're not buying out of a catalog, that stuff costs a lot of money, you know? So sure. that's the initial layout. Um, and then prototyping, you've got to test it. You can't... Yes. And then, God, God forbid, you try to make a living as well, right? Exactly. You know, I mean, I'd like to eat every night, so. Yeah, or, or at least be able to take the funds from one production run or model and, and put that towards something new. And, um, yeah. you know, it's, it's, you know, anytime you're on the internet, right? And everybody should know this, you know, everybody yeah. has their opinions, whether it's about what, how watches are made, the cost of them, or anything totally. anything and um you know it's just when you when you were talking about having gone through two manufacturers and going through different quality and things like that it just automatically in my head i'm like these are things people a lot of people don't know about and yeah. uh that costs and, you know, money. Any, any micro brand owner i've spoken to uh particularly the ones who have had a few production runs yeah. uh delivered you know every time i talk to them about anything regarding that it's it's they say well you know unfortunately a lot of people don't really have an idea until they try it and, and most of them say yeah. I, most of them say i didn't have an idea until i tried it absolutely yeah you don't i mean it's a real it's a real eye opener and you can't take criticism um personally you know yeah. we had a guy on on instagram recently who was like oh, most boring dial i've ever seen Okay. And it, I just, you know, the only thing you can type, like I typed, was like, beauty's in the eye of the boulder. Thanks for checking us out, though. Yeah. Because, because it's not personal. And, it, the, you know, the internet gets, it feels personal. But um, I've had such good response from people that that's what you've got to focus on. You've got to, you've got to focus on the people that, like, really like your product because the people that don't, maybe they like, you know, you know, 45 millimeter massive quartz watch or you know maybe that's what they like you just don't know well that's that's the beauty yeah. of watches watch collecting and things like that that you know it's so personal that oh, i may yeah. love this devil ray i'm wearing and you might hate it and that's fine um and you know it's it's some of my best friends and i have completely yeah. different tastes in watch, watches you know uh, as a matter of fact yesterday a very good buddy of mine sent me a link to a, a blog article of a watch and first thing I wrote back was like, um, I said, that's awful. I hate it. And he said, I knew you would because I love it. And that's, yeah. 
that's the fun of it, you know? Um, you know what's really interesting is a watch really kind of relays back to somebody what your personality's like. Yeah, I agree. I, think. I agree. I mean, I, I like a more minimalist kind of vintage style watch. Um, you know, I have like vintage car, I've built vintage bikes. Um, that's sort of what I'm into. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, so, so that's my aesthetic. And I know that that will resonate with other people. You know, yeah, and and that's similar to that's similar to mine. And yeah. we're talking about my friend. He's into the big and the outrageous. I mean, talking okay, about the yeah. high end, he really loves like the De Bethunes and the uh, and the MBNFs and the really cool yeah. funky stuff on a visual level. And I am into much more classic designs. But again, that's what yeah. makes it so much fun. And and he and I have a good time going back and forth about what we like and what we don't. And it's it, it's just cool. And you know, before we go too far, I, I tell everybody about you a little bit because um, you know you and I have recently become friendly, and uh, and, yeah. and I find you completely interesting. So this is your day job, obviously. No, no. So so the way, <laughs> so the watch the watches are a passion of mine. Um, I'm an enthusiast, and that's why I wanted to start a brand. But I'm I'm an actor. I'm a professional actor. Um, and I've been a professional actor for 15 years. And, you know, so, um, you know, I've done HBO stuff, BBC, Showtime. Um, what else have I done? I mean, I've done shows like Outlander. There's one called Raised by Wolves now, which is directed by Ridley Scott. So I was lucky enough to be directed by Ridley Scott, who made Alien. Yeah. Which, I mean, the guy is insane. He's, he's 82. And he works harder than anybody. And he storyboards every single scene. He's no kidding. He's so, insane. He's like so, so creative. So you're yeah. not an actor that says you're an actor, but you're actually waiting tables. You actually have. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not interested in fame or anything like that. I mean, huh? it, uh, you know, no, it's, oh, it's just God, what you enjoy. I really enjoy acting, and it's a, it's a really personal expl exploration of yourself as a human being. You have to know yourself, and you have to explore parts of yourself and your psyche and your emotional side that I guess most people wouldn't because you have to access those, those parts. Yeah. Know? I mean, I think all of us, I think, I mean, I've never met a single human being who wouldn't love to remove themselves from their own reality and be somebody yeah. else. Right. And I think that's, that's like the allure and the glamor of television and movies and things totally. like that. It's that, yeah. you know, when I was, uh, I don't know, 17 or so, Top Gun came out. For the next two years, I was a fighter pilot in my head, you know? And Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, me too. I wanted to be a pilot. I was going to, before I went to acting school uh, in Australia, I was, I was like, geez, if I don't get into a drama school, I'm going to join the Air Force. God that bless you. Great. So you're getting yeah. to, like, like me, you're getting to do what you love for a living. Um, and then you're stepping into my world by getting into the watch industry. Maybe I'll have to try my hand at acting. Yeah. I think it's, <laughs> it's like, I mean, you're doing pretty well. Like, like, like presenting podcasting is a form of acting. Yeah. You know, it's, um, it's like a craft. You, you, you sort of, you get used to it and you, and you figure it out. It takes a while. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's an interesting thing. It's an interesting um, it's an interesting profession. I mean, I've driven speedboats in the harbor without a license and like I've done crazy stuff, Yeah, you know, for productions. It's, it's quite weird. Yeah. That's cool. Very cool. So, <laughs> so what, what made you actually take the leap from going from a watch enthusiast to saying, you know what, I'm going to do it. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to put some cards on the table and I'm yeah. going to try to build a brand. So I'm, I'm also an artist. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm a painter as well. And, um, and I like design. So I built my first motorbike. I designed my first motorbike and I took inspiration from, you know, vintage bikes and things like that. And so I, I tend to th think in my mind in, in three dimensions, okay. you know, which, which I find quite easy. And so for me, the design of the watch became quite fascinating. And I started there and then I started expanding my awareness of, you know, what components or what design aspects go with what. And I wanted to sort of express what I liked in a watch. As well as, uh, as we were saying yesterday, Albany is um, inspired by lesser known adventurers. So I'm really right. interested in, um, in the history of adventurers. You know, uh, there's a, a GMT I'm working on that's inspired by um, two German aviators who got lost on the coast of Australia in 1932 uh, for 40 days. Wow. And they almost starved to death. They were, um, they, 
they were in crocodile infested waters. Then they were found by an Aboriginal tribe. So, you know, that, like that kind of stuff really fascinates me. You know, yeah. that, that's the human spirit and, well, and stuff like that. You know, for me, a, a big part of what I loved about watches ever since I fell in love with watches are the stories, right? Like you hear about the stories yeah. of the Omega Speedmaster and, you know, the Submariners and all these historic watches have great stories behind them. I mean, the Cartier, yeah. Cartier Santos, I mean, Absolutely. and what I think would be really cool with your collections, which I'm sure you're already doing is we would love to hear those stories, right? So the, the, the diver that you're coming out with is the Ama Diver. Yep. And news to me as of yesterday was that the Ama were, were pearl divers in yeah. Japan. Yeah, 2000 year old tradition. So they've been diving for 2000 years and they're, a, you know, in Japan, they're well regarded and highly regarded, but they are a sort of a lesser known adventurer. It is a tradition yeah. and it's one of the oldest free diving traditions in the world. It's a really beautiful um, tradition that's passed down from mother to daughter. They dive until they're 80 years old. They, you know, they dive for two minutes at a time. They hold yeah. their breath and when they come up, they've got this, um, this breath that they exhale uh i think it's called the call of the sea and i don't i don't know the pronunciation right but it, it's like isobue or something like that it's i-s-o-b-u-e and it's it's the the noise they make as they surface it's like really it's such a beautiful mythological kind of story yeah that, i mean mythological but yet real realistic it totally happens real. and yeah. that's so, that's so cool and you know I'll never forget. It. I was in um, Belize uh, a few years ago and we went lobster hunting with spears. So, yeah. you, and, and you're not allowed to, it's, it's illegal to, to lobster hunt uh, with your hands. Um, oh, really? oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. You can't grab them with your hands. Uh, yeah. and, and you also are not allowed to use any kind of breathing apparatus. So it's gotta be a, fr a free wow. dive. Yeah. And, I have to tell you, there's one of the most exciting or, or it was exciting yet very, very peaceful for me. Um, and we were yeah. diving down 20 or 30 feet. I couldn't last two minutes. That's uh, deep. I mean, that's deep. It With is. The pressure and the absolutely. Yeah. And it's so it, it's kind of reminiscent of that. But to me, that was an adventure. That was a real life adventure that I'd gone yeah. on with my wife. And um, that's that's fascinating. That's fascinating. I, and yeah, that's that's amazing. And I to, love that kind of stuff. To take the story of the AMA and associate it with your passion of watches, I mean, again, I think it's just so cool to hear that story and to learn that story and to associate it with your watch. So, so uh, good on you on that. I think that's fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, and it's, look, I also, you know, there's a technical aspect to the watch as well, obviously. Sure. Because, um, you know, it's got sapphire crystal, um, dome with ar coating on the inside it's got a sapphire crystal bezel it's a 300 meter dive watch it's a miyota 9039 which is a fantastic movement i um, completely agree watch. it's a total workhorse and it it'll last and last and last you know and, and then we've got pwg9 loom all over the place as well it's, yes um, super bright luminescence yeah we I, we uh, when i got the prototypes i was surprised the loom wasn't as strong as I wanted. So I immediately got back to them and I was like, we've got to like, guys, we've got to up the application of the loom for the production. So sure. they know that. And you know, that's something that I want to reiterate when it comes into production. That's awesome. I think, I think a lot of us and a lot of, a lot of people watching are dive watch people. I think many dive watches to me take up the majority of what really is a sellable watch. Yeah. And, and I mentioned this to you yesterday because I've been following your designs since the first time I'd seen the renders of them. Um, your design is very unique to me. It's, it's one of those watches where when I see it, I know immediately it's an Albany watch, which is extremely hard to capture in a design. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. Um, you know, that is, I think, I don't think that's something you can, um, I think that's something that happens organically. I don't think you can force that. And I'm really, uh, thank you so much. Cause I feel really lucky that that has happened. Yeah, you know? I, I agree. I don't think you can force it. And I think, I don't want to say you're lucky to be able to capture that, but it, to me, it shows a talent to be able to capture a unique enough design that you stand out. And if it's seen enough times, 
it's yeah. uniquely yours. And, and for me personally, and I mean this hundred percent, you've done that in my opinion. What is, so tell me about the dial because the dial to me is extremely unique for a dive yeah. watch. Okay. So we've, we've got three dials. There's the, the abyss black, which is, you know, it's just a, a, a kind of a simple minimalist, minimalist black. We've got a, a Fume Navy dial called the Bathurst blue. And then we've got the black pearl. Right. So black pearl is mother of pearl from the sea. And it's, it's got a slight green hue over it. So in, the, in, in normal conditions, it's completely black. It's actually a really, really deep, deep black. And as soon as the sun hits it, it just comes alive. All that texture just shimmers. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, I've, I've had one for a year. I've been testing it for a year. And I still, it still surprises me all the time. Yeah. You know, it, and every, yeah. Di every dial takes on its own personality. Would you totally. agree? Uh, every single one is going to be unique. You yeah. Know? Um, there's a familiarity with all the dials because it's, it's the same kind of green hue and they're all pearl, but every single texture is going to be different. So yeah. they all reflect and, and, and shimmer slightly differently. Yeah. 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 And, and it also plays into the whole story of the pearl divers. That's, I was, it was sort of a no brainer. I, I, I didn't want to have the inspiration of the Ama um, without a pearl dial. Yeah, I think yeah. I, I typically, if, if somebody explained to me, you know, just, just verbally about yeah. having a pearl dial, I, at first, I, I, it wouldn't, in my mind, I wouldn't be like, oh, yeah, I can't wait to see that. But Maybe when you see it, it's <laughs> yeah. much more masculine than in my head, I would imagine it to be. Yeah, it's, I've never, it's weird. It's like never had like a, um, it's never played any kind of like gender role with me. You know, Pearl, right. Pearl has always been, um, in my mind, it's always been a female dial, but this one is definitely like, has, it's very like masculine and beautiful and it's great. Right. You know? I, and, I completely and, agree. I mean, every, every woman in my life loves it as well. So yeah, yeah. that doesn't hurt. Yeah. It's, it's fantastic. You know? So the Kickstarter is dropping on uh, Tuesday, which is what? October the 14th? 13th. 13th, October 13th. 13th 9, 9 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. So 9 yeah. a.m. here in New York. And we're starting at uh, 2 dollars super early bird price on, um, on NATO, our EcoWeave NATO. So we're doing a regenerated nylon uh, NATO with that. Okay, great. Yeah. Great. And, and when do you see, when do you anticipate, anticipate delivery on them if everything goes, you know, stellar? If goes, yeah, uh, April. We're gonna. We're aiming for April. I've spoken to my manufacturers, um, and that's the date that he's given me. So we're gonna Excellent. work off of that. You also have some great, um, some great video reel of of the brand. Yeah, and it's, it's quite a. It's quite amazing. I mean, my 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 partner, my business partner, is uh, who came on board um, with the brand has just been incredible. Like like yeah. really amazing. So and, Ridley uh, Scott didn't direct those. No, well, no, <laughs> no, unfortunately not. <laughs> um, but yeah, I sort of I had to learn photography during during the lockdown. We had a three month, three month to three month lockdown in Cape Town. Um, so I basically learned photography and just everything that's all the photography is mine. It's yeah, it's I'm really really happy and really proud of, with how it's come out. It's really beautiful. Yeah, well, I'm I'm super excited for you. I think. I think just the project so far has shown an amazing amount of talent from one individual or, or you and your partner, um, you know, between the design, the manufacturing, as well as all the creative part of it. And, uh, you. and, and you should be proud of yourself. I know this, I know this launch is going to go fantastic. It really is a beautiful and unique Thank dive you. watch. Um, as I mentioned to you yesterday, you know, it's tough for me at WatchGate to get involved with any sort of Kickstarter. Yeah. Um, yeah but I am hoping that we can do business together uh, in the future for sure. Me too. Absolutely. Yeah. Cool. So we're going to put in the video, we'll put links to uh, your, your website, your Kickstarter, your Instagram. Is there anywhere else that you'd like to showcase? Um, we do have a Facebook page, okay. I think everyone, you know, which is uh, Albany watches uh, or Albany watch co. Yeah. Um, the Instagram, I think, is probably Instagram and the website are the most important because the website is clickable. Yeah. It's a, just a landing page. Um, you click it, it'll lead you straight to uh, Kickstarter. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, we at Watch With Us wish you the very, very best of luck. Thanks, uh, we'll be following closely. Um, don't be surprised if one of those early birds has my name on it.
Great. Yeah. And awesome. uh, thanks, for, thanks for joining us all the way from uh, South Africa. Absolute pleasure. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Thanks, Brett. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you real soon. Cool, man. Thanks a lot, eh? Bye. Bye.